All right, in this video, we're going to get locked into Bitcoin. This is your daily Bitcoin update for August 15th, 16th. If you're on the other side of the world, here we can see Bitcoin is ranging. All right, make sure you stay locked in, guys. We got some of the best Bitcoin TA on the Internet. We've been about 85 to 90 percent right most of the year. A lot of fake outs are happening in the market, but they're becoming easier to see and seeing what the market makers are really doing. A lot of hidden divergence bearish, hidden divergence bullish. So right here you can see that Bitcoin is building up longs in this area. This green box is longs being built up. All right, so longs being built up on Bitcoin. And if you flip over to the four hour here, even the higher time frames, you're going to see Bitcoin has printed an inverse head and shoulder. All right, so Bitcoin's printed an inverse head and shoulder here. And we still are holding this wick. We need to hold this wick right here at 57.1. If we don't hold this wick at 57.1, we are definitely coming down because then this support target is broken right here. So August 15th, you're waking up. You want to make money. Should you long the market? Should you short the market? My job is to show you and give you a direction. Of course, non-financial advice, backtest your own TA with mine. However, this is a major area right here. This is your 382. Your 382, I know it is showing 618, but if I reverse it, the actual presentation here is a 382. You're pretty much bouncing off this. Now, in the worst case scenario, Bitcoin still can bounce down to 56.8 because we have not touched. Typically, for a reversal, you want to touch that 382. And if Bitcoin really wanted to become, to come extremely bullish, we even could hit our 618 around 53, and that would even be a normal retrace. However, I don't see that happening because right now, a lot of longs are being built up in this area. If you're looking at your four hour, you've got major, major support on BTC right here. You had a little fake out if you draw your resistance or your parallel channel. You pumped up to the previous resistance here. You didn't really close the full candle outside of this resistance. And now you can see Bitcoin came back. But Bitcoin came back to the support. Now, a few things I want to point out here if you're looking at shorting the market. Personally, I believe this is a market that is for longing as of right now, presently for today. You've got your 4-hour 200 SMA. And you have your 4-hour 800 SMA. The longer time you range with these two SMAs, guys, you are gangbusters. You're going to pump, chug back some pre-workout. And I'm really not kidding here because if you look at the 4-hour 800 SMA and the 200 SMA cross with the 800, the last time we revisited that region was at $28,000 Bitcoin. If you get this cross and if you get above your 4-hour 800 SMA, you're going to explode. If you don't, then you are going to see the market is really just going to be in a massive range. This area right here is a massive inverse head and shoulders on Bitcoin. Pretty much every chart in crypto has an inverse head and shoulders. All right. So we're in this big range here. I don't really see anything happening, of course, until we break out, until we really get above that 800 simple moving average. Right. So here's another thing, too. If you look at the target above the 800 SMA, the next target is 673. This is my target in this area right here. Ultimately, you're looking at the top target around 73K. But now we got to look at the lower time frames because we see on the higher time frames a big green box is being presented to us here and we can see we're being wicked off this big green box and this is a nice daily four hour wick and double bottom all right so there's the four hour there's your double bottom now we can go to the lower time frame and we can see bitcoin is in a perfect rounded bottom all right so bitcoin is in a really nice rounded bottom right now and this rounded bottom can full send bitcoin 
to the top of resistance here around 61.7. We have a bit of resistance here on the 15. By the time I put out this video, Bitcoin may even be at 60,000 already. But here what you can see on Bitcoin, and I pointed this out in my YouTube live last night. So make sure you join our live at 7 p.m. CST, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Download the app mighty.projectmoongold.com. It is completely free. Join our mentorship. We are going live seven days a week. Nobody is doing it. We are making massive gains. All right. Here you can see that chart was moving up or chart was moving down. An indicator was moving up. And this is hidden bullish divergence. And now we are seeing Bitcoin absolutely taken out every single resistance if we get past this region right here so as soon as we get past this region and resistance guys we are gone we have a little bit of falling wedge right here and then you back tested the breakout of that falling wedge and you exploded through that region right here all right so i'm going to be putting up this uh trade setup very shortly because once you pump past you are running up to the previous high you are completely overbought in your 15 we typically want to be oversold in the 15 but for the most part, you can see this is playing out with your falling wedge. It broke out, rounded bottom, holding here, MACD cross, and your four hour is what I want to show everybody here. Your four hour, even though the shorts in this area, it doesn't really matter because all this means is that price is going to pump past this area right here because sellers are gone. So you see this big red gap that is going to pump pretty good past that area if you could break this key resistance. If you can't, we are in trouble and we're going to come back down. Now we're going to draw a channel in the four hour time frame here. And this is going to be the range you're going to want to look at. All right. This range right here is what you are going to want to look at right here. That is where Bitcoin's going to range. Like I said, it could come down to 57.1. But if it doesn't, it breaks out, gets above the 200. You're aiming for 67K. All right. Now, if we go to our uh, open levels here on the four hour, this is Spaceman BTC, right? It is going to show you the levels where you are ranging and really opening or closing at. So right here, we can see the bottom as of right now in 59.5. This is your open range. And this is where you're going to range. This is where price is going to consistently come back to, especially because when the four hours oversold, right? So we know the monthly mid is the top of 61.7. We know that weekly high or that monthly open is around 6.4. But if price is going to reject over and over again, we are going to come back to this weekly open. You can see Bitcoin has been ranging at the weekly open consistently. So if you're looking to build a long, well, my long would be when the 15 minute is oversold. Otherwise, you should be able to get an entry when it breaks and pumps past this resistance right here. This video might already be out too late by the time that happens, but you are looking at 67 to 70k on bitcoin make sure you guys uh stay locked in to pmg we'll be doing updates on bitcoin every day moving forward all right i'm trying to trying to get into my head it doesn't really matter what is moving i want to give you guys the best ta possible in my opinion i've got some of the best bitcoin analysis on the internet uh especially because i see the patterns and what bitcoin is doing are we bearish or bullish the reality is we're neither until Bitcoin dominance does go down, altcoins aren't really going to be banging. But if Bitcoin can find a range, Bitcoin dominance is flat or maybe even dropping a bit or pumping a bit, not too much. Altcoins are going to start gaining momentum. Okay, smash the like button. Guys, subscribe to PMG. Let's get this to 50k family members in the next three months. I know we can do it. We'll see you on all the socials, Snapchat, X instagram TikTok, facebook follow it up like it up let me know triple four in the comment section below if you're making money with pmg if you're new let me know where you're from let me know your favorite altcoins let's get it have a great day see you on the live